morning my suburban people how are you doing today how is it in your neighborhood today so country girl i am today because suburban girl has gone country so i'm going to just show you a little bit of my suburban country lifestyle just a tad bit so just stay tuned i'm going to just show you some of my little fruits on my little piece of the country hold for a sec and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and please i beg of you to like share and subscribe please i beg thank you So right about now, I'm going to show you my Yao Chow tree, otherwise known as Chinese jimbling, or more popularly known as star fruit. This is my little tree right here. So you see how the fruit, so nice and, yeah, they're so nice because they're very sweet, 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 sweet cat dog. Yes, man. See, when you see them have this little darkness on them, that means sweet 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 may i put this in the fridge and um, may go have that later so this is my little aki tree where i have gotten plenty of breakfasts and plenty mornings and even sometimes i even get some lovely dinners on it so you see there are some open ones up in the tree there and you see the breeze is blowing really nice and cool giving us some good thing up to this morning we were doing a little yard work here so that's why you see this here even though you see the breadfruits on the ground those are the young ones that are i guess not good to have but i did pick some breadfruits from off of this tree we still have a few on this tree but they're not ripe yet there's like two that is way up in the tree but suburban girl is not so agile to get those yet. This is my lychee tree. It is almost, well, it has come of eight. It's 18 years old now. It has been here for so long and has not bared one lychee. Any of you know what to do to make my lychee tree bear? Because all it's doing is bearing a lot of leaves. And I am tired of the work of continuously have to sweep, 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 sweep. I tried to sweep on it there today, but it's not yet done. But there was plenty more. But comment below if you know any way to get a lychee tree berry. Please, I beg. Because I love lychee. This is my East Indian tree. You still have some East Indian mangoes on them. It used to be a lot bigger than this, but... We have to cut it back for security reasons, but it still bears and gives us fruit. See, there's some right in the middle up there. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can. Tell me if you can see it. I'm not too certain if you can see it, but that's my mango tree up there. My sweet sap tree. It has just like two that are watching and hoping that it will get to be ripe by the time I can get some get to taste it it's right in the middle there I'm trying to zoom as much as I can so if you can tell me if you see it I'll be okay this is what you call a noni tree now a noni tree yes man it has medical purposes or in Jamaica you can say wash out or in the broader well you know it has detox i have only tried the ready-made one i've never used my actual noni that drop off or anything to do anything but this is noni noni tree this is one of the hardest trees for me to kill but what to do so this is just a little bit of my actual little banana area it's beside my greenhouse that i have not used yet because 
sometimes I'm here and sometimes I'm not. So I don't know how that would work out my stuff there. So, but one day you will see a video with a project with my greenhouse. But this is some banana trees. This is not the cooking banana type. This is apple banana. The small little ones, the sweet can't done. Sweet can't done. So this is my project to do it's one day. You'll see how I'll transform this into what I've always wanted it to become. This pear tree, today it showed me a surprise. It showed me a little one, a first bearing of one. This um, pear tree or avocado tree has never been able to be bear never bared anything yet but i'm happy that it's actually bearing one i don't know if you can see it but i'll zoom as much as i can comment below if you see it okay that's my tank right there that is my where i get my water and everything from okay let me show you see see jamaica bamboo 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 that was grown here but we had to chop down those bamboos but these are bamboos that were grown here this is a julie tree see this is julie mango suburban girls julie mango you see how nice them sweet i tell you and the rain make them even sweeter i don't know what kind of mango this one here is but this is a big mango tree it is a, one of the original trees that came on the property from a long time. So this is a big mango tree. As you can see, there's some mangoes there. Usually it bears a lot. A lot, a lot. But I think what happened, we had a slight drought and that, re, I guess, reset some of the plants to not bear so much. But usually the tree is laden. Granted, some people actually come... Well, you know, the other owners of the place come and take what they want from off of your own, from off their tree that apparently they planted or pay taxes for. But nonetheless, we have some mangoes. See, you zoom in and you see. Yes, they're big. You just have to pick them at the right time and everything. Right now, I'm going to show you our main pear tree. Usually, it has on a lot. This time I thought it was going to be very, a little bit was going to be on it because of the drought I said. But so far we've been getting some good rain now. So I want to show you. So you won't see me going to be a little higher because I'm going to be climbing up on a ladder. And I don't ever really climb on a ladder because Suburban Girl is very scared of heights especially heights that you can't control i'll go upstairs but i don't like going up ladders because suburban girl feels like she's gonna fall <laughs> so this is so so i am actually walking climbing up so this is a pear tree it's entangled <laughs> in my julie tree my other julie mango tree but if you can see some i know the light is really bright shining on because the sun is right above head as it should be because if that sun was not there <laughs> i don't know what would happen but this is avocado and the strain that we have here or i have here is called the simon's pear so you see here yes that was suburban mom just a slight tad bit of her just a while ago so you see here and i'm nice you see what, comment below, what is your favorite pear? What, what is your favorite pear? What strain of avocado do you like? These are not like the little ones that they sell in the US. You know, those small little ones that come from Mexico or so, the ones that you pay a lot of money for. <laughs> but I have not had those in a long time. The last time was in 20. 18 i had those little pairs but this is my pair of my choice this one again this is my julie tree and so that's another mango tree it's a bastard tree i don't it it hardly ever bears but we're coming up to one of the most bearing trees in the yard granted it doesn't have on any 
right now but we heard earlier this year it was bearing a lot this is called a number 11 tree yes get it number 11 as i speak of number 11 please go follow suburban girl on instagram my handle is suburban girl 1129 so please follow suburban girl on our instagram page thank you and there we can have good conversations i see it's so good up there see we have more pear trees around the back and we have another julie tree i'm gonna just show you my ponga knot or ponga nate as some persons would call it but i call it a ponga knot tree good anti ant here yes it's good this year it bared a lot sometimes it doesn't bear that much but i'm happy happy about that and again this is also our other main area where we have some banana trees apple banana trees though and then we have a guava tree right there and more pear trees there i mean not not pear more well there's a pear tree and there's a banana tree right there but i want to show you something see it's a lovely clear day yes see and that's my apple tree it's not it is not yet bearing yet but the bearing time is usually in january and that's my other breadfruit tree that's my main breadfruit tree there's good ones there but suburban girl does not know to climb trees and won't be climbing trees because it's a wearing girl is terrified of lizards and there's lizards there but for some way somehow i'm going to get some of my breadfruit because i'm going to have to benefit from my own breadfruit i want to show you my my repaints from morning that i did so see i told you i picked some breadfruits to this morning from off the tree around the front the first one by the jimeline tree so this is one We've been eyeing this. This one here was very difficult to do, but see, all of this. So, so you know what's going to happen now? Roasting time. Usually I would roast them in to a uh, catch up fire outside, but today, Suburban Girl this is deciding to be very lazy. So she's going to do it the stush way. Put it in the oven and make it roast. So stay tuned for that process how i roast a breadfruit in the oven you can roast it on the stove too but since i have a lot and it's better to work smarter i'm going to put it in the oven so this is it here my breadfruits are here i'm going to do a quick rinsing off process of it so this is breadfruit and i have just some water out here this is just some rain water it's all right but i just wash it off a little bit so that it can be a little bit cleaner to go inside of the oven which is preheated already so as you see I turn it on it on its top and you see I made a X yes you see you see that X X marks the spot right and that's where all the treasure is so again I'm going to do it here and I'm going to do that on all of them that same process what you saw me do okay I'm going to show you one more time and then you can repeat I can show you so 
I wash it off as much as I can with my one hand, but <laughs> don't mind it. It's still getting what it, the job done. Put it right here. And I'm gonna cut it and make, make an X. Yes, yeah, see? Suburban girl skill with her one hand kind of work, right? <laughs> so, just. So, you see? Tell me if you see it and how, how you do your scoring. All right? So I'll be back. Just let me do the rest of these here. All right. And all of these are not me one eating them. I'm going to be sharing it with my friends and family. Because when you have enough, I think you should give. Because greed is something that we should be wiping out of our lives. No. So especially in this time of COVID and in this 2020 year. We all should be helping one another with everything. So if you have and you can give, please do give. Remember, we are not just placed on this earth to be for ourselves. We are here to help one another. And that's one of the commandments of Christianity. All right, so stay tuned. And please, again like and share and subscribe and please if you can re-watch some of the videos that I have done thank you so my oven is preheated I actually put some broil to make it come up faster so I'm putting it in my oven so one two three four five six and seven you know that's a good number seven is a good number i decided to boil one of them but see and all they do is wait till they turn brown and you, when you push the knife through the scorn part and if you do that and it comes out me you know it is ready like what ready it's ready it's ready it's ready so now i'm going to check up on my breakthrough Woo, I, I felt that heat felt that heat man oh see look at it looking good so what i'm going to do me again with my one hand I use my towel to open it it's a little hard but see let me run put this in here i'm just gonna turn them because they look like they're basically done but you have to just turn them so that's what I'm going to do. Yes. You see that nice golden color? That's how it comes out when you do it on in the oven. Meanwhile, if you do it in the, on the stove, it gets something similar to charcoal color. Ooh, see how nice the... Look, and the smell is good. I'm gonna turn it as much as I can. I'm a little bit handed, but I have to turn it. Ooh. And then when you close it up, and the next time you see, you will see it's at 200. The next time you see, next time you see these here, these wonderful, lovely, Yellow heart breadfruit is when they're done. All right. Just a little bit more time it needs. Just a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Stay tuned. As you can see, my breadfruits are ready. And they're doing its cooling down process on the stove top. 
and they're doing their cooling down so I can go deliver them and also the next day or whenever you can fry them over and have it fried so roast or fried but Sabah girl thanks you for tuning in and ask you to please subscribe and share and like and comment thank you very much and I love you always always remember that and thank you again.